Shalom all. This is a reflection of my zero to seven days water fasting so far. So on the first day, I'm looking down on the journal by the way. I did not sleep well. So I, I find for the first days, usually your body's adapting to well, what is called ketosis. And that means you're going to be hungry. So usually the first few days, you're going, to, you're going to be quite hungry. So I didn't sleep that great. And second day, I had a good sleep. Bearing in mind I'm in India at the moment, so it's, it's pretty hot in my room. I usually leave the windows open. But on the second day, I, I just close my windows. So I find that my body temperature is... It's actually at quite a nice temperature. And like, you know, I'm wearing a jumper now, so it tells you what happens to your temperature. But it's something to be aware of. So that was the main thing from day two. Day three, I, I still had energy, a lot of energy. I was going out walking on day one and day two. So, yeah, day three, I was just walking about. There was no observable notation. And I would say I I was steering away from screens. So, yeah, I was, I was writing a lot of plans and things down for the future, spending time journaling. Day four, I slept very well. I even slept again in the afternoon. So I started, yeah, I was just tired. So I listened to my body and I slept. It's like intuitive eating, you know. If you want to eat this, just eat it, okay? There's no judgment. Same with the sleep. And yeah, I was reflecting on purpose, whatever, blah, blah. It's day five, I woke up a few times. I found this a bit harder lower in energy, I was get, being dizzy when I woke up, um, when you get up fast, but that's one of the things, I I have a prompt sheet that I wrote for myself that has all of the challenges, when you go into the lion's den you have to take a spear, <laughs> so I have yeah the, the three main challenges and how I combat them and what is my intention, blah blah blah. You can just let me know if you want me to share those things. It might help you if you fast. So, yeah, that, and that's okay. It's just my body's slowing down. It's natural. Day six, woke up and I was had lots of energy. And I was writing, um, I was writing a letter for someone. Mm. Yeah. And then day seven was... I, yeah, I had some um, skin ailments that I guess it's called keto rash, where you're, because your body's in ketosis, which is, oh, I mean, there's a lot of science behind this. Um, it breaks down the ketone bodies instead of the getting the glucose from the glycogen. So it finds a different way to get its energy and that can give you a rash and I had that and by day seven it was it was healing pretty nicely yeah and I was just reflecting on some ideas yeah yeah that was the first seven days